Praise the Lord to all the youth at the Pentecostals of Fresno. It's been a very long time since we've all met up and even had a youth event together. I hope you guys are doing okay. If you guys are still, you know, trying to adjust, it's very different. We've never been through anything like this, so it's definitely a challenge. But we're followers of Jesus Christ and we have the Holy Ghost, so we can overcome. And that's something that I want to talk to you guys about today is you know how to be an overcomer jesus was and always will be the ultimate overcomer it says in first john chapter 5 verse 4 for whatsoever is born of god overcometh the world if jesus was able to overcome the world so can we you know being a christian doesn't mean everything is perfect we will still have you know problems you know struggles you know the daily things but we can overcome and especially during this time we tend to be discouraged uh, for what's going on, you know, with life circumstances, but we need to remember that we will overcome. Some of us may be dealing with, you know, problems or struggles right now, but we have to remember this will be a great testimony to share with somebody. So how to be an overcomer? Number one, an overcomer has to have faith. As we all know, faith without works is dead. But if we put our trust in God, nothing is impossible. If we seek Him faithfully, He will reward us. Our faith in God makes a huge difference in our spiritual walk with Him. We must have a faith that does not waver. Our faith in God and our faithfulness to Him starts with prayer, when we pray to God. One thing we have to ultimately do is put our full trust in God, even through our doubts. That's where faith starts. Number two, an overcomer seeks Him first. But seek ye first the kingdom of God, and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you that's in matthew chapter 6 verse 3. if we seek god first he is always going to provide you know there's times we often focus so much on our problems that we forget that we serve a living god we will always come across problems but it's how we handle it do we let our problems consume us do we let our problems distract us from serving god do we let our problems take over our spiritual life it's up to you and me to decide. We can either act out an emotion of the flesh or we can act out a wisdom of the spirit. No matter how we're feeling, if we're happy, we're sad, or if we're angry or we're going through something, we have to seek God first. We can't be so focused on living life that we forget that we're living for God. Number three, an overcomer is not a quitter. In Isaiah chapter 41 verse three, it says, for I, the Lord thy God, will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. You know, there's this thing that says, Quitters never win. When life gets you down, don't be a quitter. Always have a positive mindset and seek God so you never give up. You know, whatever life throws at you, like if someone broke your heart, if you have family problems, health issues, just so many things that could happen in life. Whatever we're going through or what you're going through, just keep moving forward in God. God sees our struggles. He sees our troubles. He sees every tear. He's molding our faith to be stronger. He can restore everything that you're facing. Just don't quit. Be an overcomer today. And if you're watching this, and even if you feel like you're in the wilderness right now, the Lord will never leave you nor forsake you. We overcome when we faithfully serve God with all our heart, our mind, and soul, and strength. There is one thing that I remember the pastor said in one of his preachings, and something that stuck out to me, and I still remember today, is our time is never wasted when we serve God. Keep that in mind. Be an overcomer today.